Hello, welcome to First Coast Living and nothing beats the excitement of a child opening a toy on Christmas morning that they really wanted. But sometimes these toys are not as safe as they appear. Jordan got an in-depth look at why you should do your due diligence ahead of making certain holiday purchases. Are your kids throwing hints about what they want Santa to bring them this year? Or are you keeping track of the top trending toys this holiday season? Before making any purchases, you'll want to make sure those top toys are safe. John M. Phillips is the owner of Phillips and Hunt, and we're excited to have you here to tell us all about this. So what should parents be aware of before they go holiday shopping? Happy holidays. Yes, happy you, holidays. We, we hate to be the party poopers, right, as lawyers, but <laughs> but there's, there's certain things that could cause injury to other kids, uh, injuries to the kids. You know, people hear about products liability. That's where the product itself mm -hmm. fails and injures somebody. Or co-play liability, which we'll get into, which is where one kid could hurt another kid. Those always make our phone ring. Oh, I'm sure. and, and, and nobody wants to get injured over the holiday season. All right, well, let's get to it. Tell yeah. us some of the dangers here, starting with the CSI forensic Don't lab. touch this one. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. So, so the craziest thing, this, is, this one was recalled. It's a CSI forensic lab. Mm -hmm. The fingerprint dust, it was made so that kids could fingerprint each other. And Which kind sounds of have cool. Fun. It does. The fingerprint dust? Asbestos. No way. Literally cancer causing agent within a child's toy. They they tested it after kids started getting reactions. Turns out like this literally causes cancer. Now, most of them have been recalled. Right. Uh, they've all been recalled. Most of them are off the shelves. We actually purchased this off of eBay just this season. So, so people can still get it. You so can still get, get defective <laughs> toys even though they've been recalled. There's no there's no way for, for like the toy police to go in and seize every bad toy. All right, what about the Sky Dancer? I remember when these came out. Everybody loves the Sky Dancer and has fond memories, except for the people that have that have lost vision, lost you know, there, there's one kid that actually lost their life, and I still can't figure that one out. But oh the problem was to, to be able to launch the Sky Dancer, right. you had to get close to it. It spins with the sharp blades, and they've since softened them, and it, it tore the retina and oh bad news. Yeah, not good. Okay, you mentioned co-play liability. Co what exactly liability. is that? Okay, so that's where if... I, I, you know, my parents give me a toy that they think I'm going to be responsible for mm -hmm. and I'm, I, it's age appropriate and I go out and slash you with my, you know, my velociraptor hands, mm -hmm. then your parents go home and be like, what did, what did the Phillips family do to you? Right. And they sue. That's, that's where two people are playing together and, you know, you think your kid's age appropriate, but they've done something to somebody else. And then you got family on family, which again is never good. And you often see the co-play liability being with kind of the more dangerous or sharp edge toys. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody loves John Cena, but with, you know, with this one, the problem is it says age three and up. And so kids oh. put on literally punching gloves right. and start knocking each other out. And again, it's not the glove that causes the damage. It's the secondary impact as they hit the steps. And so those are the bigger co-play liability issues. And you were talking about recalls. Why is that so important to be aware of uh, and pay attention to? Right. Thank God for the U.S. Product Safety Commission. They, they are the ones that review these toys. Most of them hit the recalls a, a, as injuries develop. Um, some that come directly from China, like there's some toys that have lead paint in them. Right. Those don't necessarily get recalled because there's just, there's, there's just a, such a small market through Amazon. But, you know, the, the Product Safety Commission comes out with recalls, and then there's various organizations that come out with lists every year of the 10 most dangerous toys. Parents, before they go shopping, should check that out. Okay, let's get that website then. That's important. Certainly. The U.S. Product Safety Commission uh, website is, is the ideal place to go. Okay. Is there any last piece of information before we go that we want to let parents or guardians or even other family members and friends they should know about before shopping? You know, it, it, we don't want our kids just constantly on iPads. We want them to have toys that get them out and be active mm -hmm. you know the issue is you know possibly thinking things through and realizing like this is age four and up okay right. so that's fine for a four-year-old but that is hard on but top. it's really hard on top and are there two-year-olds in the house some of these right. products have little pieces that break off and again is little brother little sister going to swallow it mm -hmm. because it's the age on the box is really meant for the whole house because the little brother can get to it too this is stuff i have never thought of and i'm hoping a lot of people are getting that good information today so thank you so much for helping us stay safe my pleasure we'll leave these toys just don't shoot prangly in the eye <laughs>
<laughs> I'll try my best. All Thank right. you so much. And if you'd like to see this segment again, you know you can head to our website, and that's firstcoastliving.net. It's not too late to go out and enjoy the holiday.